you may be wondering, why me? How can this be happening to me? What am I going to do? I can't do this on my own. Why me? We don't get married to the love of our life, planning a future together, hopes and dreams and fun times and family and ever expecting to be in this spot that you are in right now. The problem with why me is you're going to have those feelings. Sure, you can think that, you can you can feel that for a while, but the longer you sit in that why me, it's not useful to you. The more useful question to be asking yourself right now is, okay, this is my reality. This is what's happening. Divorce is on the table. My life is all shook up. Never expected this in a million years. But the more useful question to ask yourself right now is, who am I going to be during this transition in my life? Who do I want to be as an example to my children? Who do I want to be for myself so that 10 years from now I can look back and I can say, all right, I did the best that I could. Pretty proud of that. Handled that well. This is not an easy time. So saying, why me? Crying, grabbing the wine, binging on Netflix, screaming, yelling, complaining, making excuses. I've done that. That's normal. But the sooner you can step out of that, you can begin to create a new life. You can have new hopes new dreams. There's all kinds of possibilities and fun times just waiting for you out there. And, and I know that's hard to imagine right now. If you're asking yourself, why me? Why now? How could this be happening? How could he do this? How could he love someone else? How could he just pick up and leave? How come this isn't working out? How come it started off so well and now it's just so awful? Yeah, you're sitting there you're having these feelings, you're asking yourself these questions, right now you're feeling like a victim. The sooner you can step out of the victim and move into the owner of your life, the owner of your choices, the owner of who you are being right now and through this transition, the sooner you can move forward. You can work on all kinds of things. You can maybe go take a walk for the first time in your life. You can consider what your true values are. You can set goals. You can create new actions. You can go find the who's that need to be in your life right now to support you through this time. The friends, the legal counsel, the coaches, the babysitters, financial planner. You can start to gather the people around you so that you can move forward in this time. It is one step at a time, but I know one thing. The sooner you can step away from being the victim, regardless of your circumstance, regardless of what has happened, stop blaming, stop being the victim, and start to take ownership of your one very special, most important, awesome life. And remember this, you are worthy. You are loved. You are perfect just the way that you are. You can follow me on this YouTube channel. Reach out to me. If you're looking to have a conversation, I'd be happy to help you in any way that I can. And until next time, sending love your way.